What's up everybody, I'm Coach Ryan. Welcome to my day in the life. I don't like to go at a super fast pace in the mornings. Like I probably get most of my work done at night. It's on a day like today where, where we have a later practice, um, I have a little bit more time to just being able to finish some of the scouting stuff before I go to practice get a little activity in since we practice it too. So going for a bike ride, sometimes going on a walk, it just kind of clears my mind. Uh, but basically what we have is we have our different plays uh, for all different situations. We're making sure that I'm prepared with all the plays that I like to run. Our general plays, stuff that I want to do out of timeouts, into the game situations. If we have a plan A, plan B, plan C for a certain situation, well, that's something that I practice every single day. So actually, you know, the nice thing is what you know Molten did, they created this board, so now I have a couple boards with me. I actually always keep a board next to my bed because you never know when a new idea is gonna pop into your head. And you need to know the certain lines that you're drawing so the players know if they're passing, if they're screening. Um, so a pass, usually it's just a checkered line that's you know from one point, point A to B. For a screen, usually it's a straight line or any sort of curved line with the, with the flat, um, any sort of running action is just a flat line or you know a hard line with an arrow. General mornings for me, usually I like to have something super light, especially like fruit. Fruit is the easiest. I'm always drinking water in the morning. I'm not a coffee person. I actually hate coffee with, with the passion. To me, it's like, it's the worst drink, like smell, taste. Uh, coffee, just one thing I just don't like at all. You know, you see those people with coffee in their hands, big smile on their faces, tons of energy in the morning. I'm like, yo, that is not me. <laughs> I, was like, I can't do that. One thing though that like I kind of miss doing, so I love make if I do like an omelet, like I'll make like a homemade like tomatillo salsa. Yeah. And I'll put like the salsa on top. Like Ooh. it's so good. First head coach that I worked with in the NBA was um, Rick Adelman. He had a very, very vet staff. Um, guys who had played in the NBA a long time ago. Um, after that, I was in the Spurs system. Obviously, Greg Popovich was there. And even in the G League, Taylor Jenkins, who's now the coach of the Memphis Grizzlies, worked specifically under him for the entire year. Being able to be under, see Adelman, Pop, Taylor Jenkins, Tom Thibodeau, all those systems, see how those guys operate, see how they treat people, see how they run practices, how they organize everything. But people want to see coaches like yelling, like cussing. It wasn't like that with any of those guys. They all did a great job of delegating. They let their coaches do a lot of the drills, they let them do a lot of the teaching. You know, they have coaches meetings, they tell the coaches specifically what to do. Um, if they need to jump in, they can, but they know they're gonna be the main voice during the games all the time. So, you know, you're not just developing the players, you're developing the coaches too. Being able to get all those experiences, um, you just, you can't fake it. It's invaluable to, you know, what I've learned and what I've taken with me. About 9.30 here in the morning, so I still got a few hours before I gotta head back. Probably head around Taipei Zoo area, uh, go right along the river coming back. So just gonna, I might head a, get an Uber out there because it's a little bit easier. You gotta keep it fun too. I feel like work every day. That's been the lucky thing with, with my job is I, I just never feel like I'm actually having to work. I just don't have that feeling. Um, here's just really nice because you get to be along, along the water, get a little bit of nature. It's not too far from where we stay. So it's a super quick ride back to the apartment if, if I need to, but we can get out for a little bit. Yeah, I think, I think another reason why I like being out on bike rides too, um, instead of walking, for me, I can cover a lot more ground on a bike. It puts me in that same state of mind, so I can think a little bit clear if I just want to meet with people and talk about something serious or just um, meet out on a bike, it's, it gets the same thing done. You know, I've had multiple jobs where I haven't gotten paid internship. That, that's things that a lot of people don't know about professional basketball. Every, every contract I've been, been on has been short term. And so year to year for me, I'm always looking for something new, not just because I'm trying to get somewhere else, but because I want job security just like anybody else in the world. Obviously, you know, being around the NBA system, the G League, I mean, they're, they're, the, they're the same essentially. That's kind of the goal, that's home, that's where the, high, the best basketball league is in the world. But I also know being younger, um, it's not like there's going to be an NBA team calling for me to be the head coach right away. G, G League's close, I got to be the head coach for a game my last season there. 
I got to be an assistant uh, with the Minnesota Timberwolves for summer league. I think a quote that that's really important to me for a long time is, don't whine, don't complain, don't make excuses. And I feel I live by that. Even though I haven't had a training camp, ultimately nobody cares. They, they don't care that you don't have the players. They don't care that you, know, you don't have training camp. You find a way to make it work. You have to or else coaches are easy to get rid of. People just think like, oh, you're not winning. You know, it's, it's not anybody else's fault, it's your fault. And so I'm okay with that. I just know it forces me to work harder and, and make things work. This will usually be just something that I do uh, after any sort of physical activity. You know, it really doesn't need to be anything fancy, but just adding uh, a few fruits you like, really be anything you want. Just keep it simple, keep it fresh. That's all you need to do. Delicious. All the prep that we do is done is done beforehand. So sending out practice plans uh, the night before or very, very early in the morning, um, all that's communicated to our staff. And so now it's just showing up and getting ready to go. Now, now you guys get to see my incredibly slow mode of transportation. Got the electric bike. It can be super tough. Like the power, the power is not very hot. Yo, you want to hop on the back? It's more comfortable than the Audi. <laughs> all right, I'll catch y'all the best part of the day. I want to see more of this turnaround jump. We talked about it, especially since you have like the high release point. There's not going to be too many guys who are going to be able to be into the body and then contest if you create that space. So how are you feeling though about how you've been playing and, and everything? Good, I think it's good to uh, um, see the threes go down more consistently now too. I think it was just getting under it, getting a little more arc on it. Uh, but yeah, feel feel good. Just good to get these past two road wins and I just got to get this next one to finish up this road streak. Tomorrow we'll be our last shoot around in practice before we dial it up for the game. So just make sure the same thing as always, locked and engaged to what we're doing. So uh, I first played for Coach Ryan uh, my rookie year. Uh, I was playing in the G League for the Iowa Wolves at the time. He was assistant coach on the roster. I love just the way he approached the game. You could tell he was dialed into the skills work and the development for the individual players. What I've really loved is just how calm, cool, and collected he is. I feel like he's a guy where he's always kind of in control of the situation. And of course, with the game of basketball, things aren't always going to go the way you plan. But um, one thing I've really respected about him is you can tell he's prepared for that. And uh, so I think for me, when I saw that he was coaching here uh, for the Kings, it was a big selling point to get to come back and, and play for him again. I mean, he's been a joy to play for, very dedicated and very fun to learn from. 對外教因為之前也有給外教接那個帶過他們都給球員很大信心他會接受你去犯錯他的戰術的內容的東西非常多就是像NBA一些戰術啊所以他就往那邊帶過來給我們就不太像那種很嚴肅的教練啊對比較
So, you know, that's just the main thing, really important part of my aspect of life is, is outside of basketball. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that side of my life. Getting away from anything, anything basketball wise <laughs> is, is important. Yeah, I'm actually just about to go get a haircut. I, my, my hair grows like a, I don't, I don't know what, what grows fast, but <laughs> you know, just kick back. Barbershop culture, especially in the States, you know, it's, it's, very, it's very engaging, you get a lot of, active conversations in the barber that I have here. Uh, we have a lot of good conversations just about, about sports, about life. He'll ask about the team sometimes because I know we have a couple players that go into the same barber shop as well. two favorite teams and actually when I was like junior high high school when the Kings and Lakers were, were like a real rivalry back when the Kings you had Stoyakovich, Divac, Chris Webber, Bobby Jackson, Mike Bibby. Um, I mean even Turk Blue was there. I was just a really really fun time following the Kings. And that's what was funny because Rick Adelman was the coach there at the time. Adelman ended up being the first coach that I ever worked for in the NBA so being able to grow up and watch those teams and then being able to learn the system and work for them was, was really cool. But no, this is this is like the best part of it. I feel great. All right, appreciate it. I'll we'll see you. Later. I think that's that's one thing that's been uh, been been easy for for me, like living in so many different places. Like, I don't really believe in getting lost. That's just kind of like just getting to know the city, getting to know the people. Public transportation is great over here, so that's why I try to take it as often as possible. Yeah, now we're at um, just a couple stops from where we live from Shindian. It's actually one of my favorite Mexican spots that I go to in the city. There's a couple spots from where we're at, so I figured to go grab some food there and uh, show you one of my favorite local spots in the city that kind of makes me feel like I'm eating back home. Basically, we, we just came to order food, so he's preparing our food, and there are a couple of drinks that he ran out of, so we're actually going to, there's a little corner store right around the way that has a few of the drinks that he had. It's, it's kind of like a taste of home, you know, you get quality Mexican food in California all the time, so I came here, I was like, oh, I got real salsa, I got lime, like onion, cilantro, like just all, all the food, the flavors were good. It's a simple thing to, to make, but it, it's easy to mess up right here. Yeah, they do it fantastic. Many reasons. The number one is for my son. He needs to go in Taiwan. And the other reason I want to change my life. Entonces, ¿qué estaba haciendo? ¿Cómo? Ah, trabajamos en la misma ciudad. Oh, okay. Trabajamos. Y vivimos seis años en México. Okay. O sea, también era era momento de que de cambiar el 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 papel. Okay. Ahora me toca a mí vivir en un país que There we go. Perfect. That's pretty good. I don't know if you can get that with the crown on your head. Like that. Bring your kid to a game. Yeah. Sometime. Sure. Yeah, that'd be fun. I think you'd like it. Thanks so much. It's fun. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Next weekend, please. Next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait. I only got about 15, 15, 20 minutes till my OnlyFans account starts. So, you know, it's called a day in the life, not a night in the life. So, you guys gotta go. Good night. <laughs>